peace, infinite waters, diving deep once again. Five signs you're waking up. I'm not talking about getting out of bed here. I'm talking about when you have a whole new realization about what planet Earth is. Can I get a hello there? I received a question today from a woman who said that one morning in September 2014, she woke up, everything looked and felt different. She saw repeating numbers, signs, symbols, sounds, divine messages, secret thoughts. She said that she saw a man's face mold into every face he had ever been and his future face. If I had heard that before I woke up, I would have thought, that's crazy. But don't worry. Thank goodness I did wake up. Because this is what me and my friends talk about on the beach every single day. But she says that for the last seven months, she has felt alone. And she doesn't know why all of these things are happening why strangers are now talking to her and telling her their whole life story. Now I'm gonna share with you what's helped me along my journey in becoming my greatest version. What happens when our whole life changes in a blink of an eye? What happens when, like you said, your normal world was now another dimension. Let me share with you some signs I experienced personally. The first sign was that things would never be the same again. I remember way back in 2006, I was watching the TV and it was almost as if I could see the illusion of all of it. And I really tried to not see it, but I could. Because we are living in the information age, the age of Aquarius, which means you can see a documentary now. Messages are being shared every single second. That means we are all being updated and upgraded because we are now exceeding the current paradigm in place. For instance, what you thought was impossible is now possible. What you thought was sweet may now be bitter it's very difficult to go back once you know because you begin to wake up when you are open to receive new information. You realize that things aren't what they seem because it's all BS, belief systems. As you change your belief systems, once you change your belief system, you enter a new world. The world in essence is a collective idea. So you change your belief, you now change the idea of what the world is. So things will never be the same again. Okay, how do we deal with that on a practical level? <laughs> well, many times we have to start cultivating more inner strength mentally and emotionally by embracing it instead of resisting it. For a long time, I resisted it. Oh yeah, I did. I said, I don't wanna hear it for myself. I thought I was gonna be called crazy by everyone. And that is why so many of us resist our awakening because we are afraid of what friends and family are gonna say. They're gonna now look at us 
in a whole different way. If you can embrace that, you will see it is only going to serve you for the highest good. The second sign I experienced was, yes, it can be, you may feel alone, but we are never alone. The universe always sends someone. Why do we feel alone? Because it's almost as if life has stopped. When I'm talking about waking up, this is what Carl Rogers, the psychologist would call self actualization. <laughs> you said you can now, you can now see people's third eyes and see into objects. Of course, you're going to feel alone <laughs> because this is not what we talk about on the dinner table. So you said, who can I share this with? That's what I thought. I thought I had to deal with this all by myself. Then I realized, wait a minute, there is always someone out there. The question is, are you reaching out to them or are you waiting for them to reach out to you? You may be waiting a very long time. As soon as you wake up with your awakening experience, what helped me along my journey was reaching out. If I saw a kindred spirit, message them. But actually I made videos and I naturally attracted the right kinds of people who are vibrating on the same frequency as me. So speak your truth to the world and your echo will find you. In essence, your echo is your reflection. We aren't alone. There are so many people right now waking up to the truth of who they are on the planet. It can't be stopped. Why? Because this is the time for the new world to be created. The third sign I experienced was that I didn't want to fit in to society anymore because for a long time, we're like Cinderella. We're trying to get that shoe, <laughs> we're trying to get our feet into that shoe, but it's not happening. Sometimes we even pretend not to know. We're out with a group of friends and we're just silent when they're talking, but we know more. You can fool others, but you can't fool yourself. Whenever we don't feel like we belong to the world, like I say, if you don't feel you belong to this world, maybe it's time you create a new one. <laughs> That's what I said to myself. So I said, okay, instead of complaining about the world and judging people in it, why not become a content creator and share your unique vision with the world? Because I don't have the absolute truth. Truth is like a glass shattered on the world and everyone picks up a piece. So therefore, when you realize that even though you are waking up, you are now lucid in the dream, but there are dreams within dreams. So the pyramid, the higher you go, the smaller the ratio, but there is always someone who has woken up to an even greater truth. <laughs> so that's why I always say enlightenment is knowing how much you don't know. Through that humility, you begin to tap into your inner greatness without a doubt. Sometimes we think true strength is how much you can hold on to. A job that isn't serving you, pollution, people beeping, not fun. True strength I've seen is what you can let go of. And that is a massive sign of waking up. You just want to let go of it all because you've seen it's complete nonsense. But can you own that? <laughs> can you take responsibility for the way you feel? I can, but it was hard at first. Nobody wants to appear like they're being negative. In fact, you are actually being positive because you are now expressing yourself 100%. It's time to celebrate, baby. The fourth sign is that 
I became more health conscious. Right now, there is a health revolution hitting the planet. Before 2006, you don't want to see what I was eating. I was eating junk, so I felt like junk. My whole lifestyle was a complete mess. As I began to change the way I thought, I began to change what I put into my mouth. Food is fuel. Food is medicine. So eating more plant-based foods, that even allowed me to entertain more new ideas into my mind. A lot of people I've met who are eating more healthy foods, all of a sudden they're beginning to wake up to new possibilities, new realizations. It's almost as if their whole DNA is changing. And it is. Because we are what we eat, literally. Just like we are what we think, literally. It's all connected there. Health conscious, like you want to go out and just exercise, you want to feel good. You don't want to be kept in a box. No, because when you wake up, it's all about expansion. Can you embrace that though? Once you do, you will find you are not alone. Someone's going to run with you. If they don't, well, hey, go and tell them to. <laughs> and the last sign, I saw along my journey was that new relationships are formed. New relationships come into your life even without you asking for them. Sometimes people just fall from the sky. Where the hell did you come from? I don't know. And you're just talking, having this great conversation. You might even be in a romantic relationship with someone you're resonating with. You can share, but it's not just a physical connection. It's a mental and emotional connection. That's what I'm talking about. Before, we had a lot of friends, right? Before you woke up, many people, we had a lot of friends, but we didn't even know who they were. I've seen when you are waking up, you don't have a lot of friends, just a few good ones. <laughs> you can probably count them on your hand. One, two, three, four. Yeah. That sounds about right. But it is the best kind of friendship. They are the best kinds of connections once you find those that honor the way you see the world. This is not for everyone. I don't go and tell people what to do. Only those that want to listen. And right now the whole world is waking up. You better believe it. But just remind yourself you aren't crazy. In fact, you should be very happy that you can even share this with me and those closest to you. Because look, I feel and I know that in the next coming years, this whole planet is going to be so different. Why? Because people are losing the fear. And when you wake up, to a new realization, a new way of life. You have to let love guide you, not fear. That is the ultimate secret to free, to free your mind to true freedom and liberation. Just celebrate, dance, dance with me. Okay, that's better. Have a wonderful day. We're here, enjoying ourselves. Infinite waters, diving deep once again. Stay well. Stay healthy. Peace.